do you think he's a snitch? I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I don't think about oh, if he's a snitch. I, I don't know. Oh, you're talking about the youth. Sorry, you're talking about the youth. Um, well, yeah, if you're on road, you know what I mean. Depends though. You're only really a snitch if you actually file a report and you go to court. You know what I mean. So. But I, I'm not really bothered about like the snitching thing. I'm more like, oh blood, you're saying fuck you're probably saying fuck the police and that, but then you're phoning them when you're in danger. Uh, fam, like I said, I don't know, you might find one video if you look hard enough, if it even exists while saying fuck the police. I don't I ain't got beef with the police. Everyone's got beef with the police, like that police officer that stamped and kicked the guy in the head and that. Obviously, when I saw the video, I was like, bro, that's bang out of order and that. But then a week later, I see footage of the incident beforehand and the guy looked like he attacked the police officer first. Well, yeah, you deserve to get your ass whooped. You deserve to get kicked in the face. Why are you throwing a punch? Why are you punching up the police for? I'd have done the same thing or whoop your fucking ass, blood. Someone, someone said there should be zero tolerance to people that assault police officers. Yeah. Yeah, you're damn right. Please don't come to work to get punched up or spat out and that. There was one black man. I don't know, it's somewhere like South London or something like that. There was a mixed race girl. She, she was a police woman. She was all right still. He spat in her face. He probably had disgust for her for one of two reasons. Probably because she's pretty, yeah, and she's a, a police officer, a woman of colour. Because me, I don't regard mixed race people as being black. I say mixed race people are mixed race, but he might regard her as being black. So he will regard her as being one of his people, isn't it? So he spat at her in disgust. And I've seen it before. Like there was a Somalian police officer and one youth, one Somalian youth was getting um, stop and searched and that. And he was dissing him like, oh, you're a sellout, you're a pussy oh, and that. Fam, what's the matter with you, fam? You, you, you moving like that towards your own people just because he's a police officer and that. You might need to stop this mentality. It's us versus them. Why are you even in the position to be getting harassed and stopped and searched by the police? Or, you know, why do you feel like you're against the police? It's because you're in that world. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be in that world. You should be a legit person. When you're a legit person, the police can't even find you because you're too busy on the right Ross Clark path. I don't get stopped and searched by the police. And if I do... It'll be something dumb because of my motorbike. That's that's the number one reason why I get stopped by the police. It's my motorbike. And I'm not even doing that, but like the number plate might be a bit wonky because I need to tighten up the nut behind it. And they might think that, oh, I might be taking off the plate and riding without the plate. So they think, oh, because it's wonky, it's because I was uh, adjusting it. And that. 